All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Leader Games Media Channel, which is not my channel. Uh, I'm normally on the Hava stuff. Uh, but <laughs> Hello, is, Leader Games. This is how we announce the acquisition. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, but who, who acquired who is the question. <laughs> oh, I think Hava's much bigger. <clears throat> So. Mm, this is true. Maybe. Are we talking like internationally or just the U.S. division? Oh, it gets fuzzy. We better, we better not talk about that. Yeah, <laughs> the lawyers gonna, will get upset. We're going to run it in no time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but hello, everybody, and welcome to this stream where we are going to color. Uh, if you are not aware of it, there is a game called Color It that is from Haba Games, the company I work for. Uh, and in this game, you are coloring, coloring sheets. And the coloring sheets that come with the game are pretty standard, fun, adorable coloring sheets. However, you can play this game with a lot of different coloring sheets. Uh, you just have to add some little pips and modifications. And the fantastic Brook at Leader Games has made some pr promo uh, vast coloring sheets and others. Uh, but today, Patrick and I are going to play head-to-head, uh, -head, where head -to -head. I will be coloring the Shadow Paladin. And, and I'll Patrick... be coloring the Armored Knight. Yes. And my daughter will be coloring the Looney Labs Aquarius <gasps> set. Oh, nice. Oh, we've got a, we got a Looney Labs in here, even, too. Are we spoiling this? Because <laughs> it's on area. We saw it in the PDF and we printed it. Yeah, you can print whatever sheet you want. So normally the coloring sheets, you want normally every player to have the same sheet. But when Brooke was designing um, and making the uh, Shadow Paladin and the Armored Knight, uh, Brooke made sure that the two sheets matched like exactly mm -hmm. the same number of colored spaces and the same uh, number of like pip values. So if you would like to play along with Patrick, A, and I, we are going to be coloring. So all you need is you can print off the sheet. I have mine here so that everybody can see my awful coloring job. Or beautiful. I'm going to turn this into a rainbow paladin, really. Um, all you need to play along is you need the coloring sheet. And Brooke has dropped the file, the link to the file in the chat, which is fantastic. Um, I believe it's page, it's a whole coloring book with lots of different sheets. Don't print the whole coloring book. But print the page you want. So I believe the Shadow Paladin, I think, is page five, and the Armored Knight is page seven. Um, so there you go. And then, yeah, you need five colors. So you just need red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And that's all you need to color along. And they don't need to be colored pencils. They can be crayons, markers. Um, they can be slightly different colors. Like, I have these colors here in case I want to do these instead. Um, we played a stream once where somebody colored on with eyeliner. <laughs> so you can do lots of options. Lots of options. But we'll give everybody a couple minutes. If anybody wants to color along with us and play, we will give folks a couple seconds to get sheets. You can also play, like, um, if you want to just grab the PDF and then, like, put it as an image on your phone or your tablet, you can actually color in like the photo editing part of your device, which is an option. So yeah. Hello, Lord of the Board. Oh, Mullins. Hi, Hannah. Um, we got lots of people in the chat. So yeah. B right. Heather can't stay, but we'll come back as soon as they can. That's, we'll be here. The game works. So the way that the game's gonna work is I'm gonna roll these dice. And when I roll the dice, everyone is going to make a pair from these this dice roll. So for example, for teaching purposes, um, in this situation, you could make, you could color in a one space with purple, or you could color in one space with green. Or you could color in a two space with purple or a two space with green. But you're only gonna color in one space for every die roll, because you're only gonna make one pair. If at any point you can't color in, because you, you can't um, do a legal coloring with the options, uh, you just have to pass that round. And when I say a legal coloring, 
What that means is no two touching spaces can be the same color. So, yeah. Some of the spaces on this sheet, I don't know, Patrick, if yours is the same. Some of the spaces, some of the pips kind of overlap. So, for example, this, like, wrist guard situation, there's a lot of lines. But this whole wrist guard slash, like, arm area is considered a three pip. And then, like, same here with the thigh guard. This yeah. whole thigh guard is considered a three pip. Sure. So, yeah. Okay. I think A's is a little bit uh, it's a little bit simpler, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So it's pretty straightforward. This is probably the most complicated sheet I think that we have. But that's, that's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. But if anybody wants to color along with us, either in the future or right now, like I said, all you need is the five colors and then a sheet. And we're going to get started here. At the but if you're interested in the game, it's from Hot Up. There's two ways to play, one for like younger ways, and then the way that we're playing right now is kind of the advanced variant. Um, you can play with more players, but it's $14.99, and it's available at HobbyUSA.com. So there you go. That's the whole thing about the game. Otherwise, I'm just excited to play and hang out and talk with about leader games uh, and the the not real acquisitions and whatnot that we would like to have happen. <laughs> I, I've I've already answered five questions on Reddit. <laughs> so here we go. Yeah. Uh, A says, "Can we start?" Mm. I think we're ready. All I right. think I think we can get rolling on this. I don't know. We also have the disembodied voice of Brooke. Yeah, I'm ready. I have heard giggle. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been Alice. This this is true. Could have been. Um. Yes. So, all right, let's roll for it. I mean, that's a different that's... game, but. Okay, oh, well, the star is a wild, which means that you can color whatever color you want with the star, but you okay. still have to make a pair. So this is wild, you can pick any color, and then, so you could do any color, one or two, or red, one or two. So mm -hmm. go ahead, go ahead and get rolling. <clears throat> yeah, Um. all right, I'm gonna go ahead and do, what I want to do. this hmm? shoulder purple. Oh yeah, okay. Like, what do you mean? So, you could do you could pick any color and color one of your ones or one of your twos. I'm gonna do her cape. Yeah, um, we're definitely gonna end up with some pretty colorful characters, which I'm excited about. I do have to say, I'm I'm ashamed to admit it's been a while since I played fast. It's um, been it's been a while since I've played fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you say the legs are three ones or one threes? I would say, like this part of this leg for me is this, the knee part and this bottom part. I would just say is a three. Sure. A single three. Okay, if I don't color something, you're Yeah, that's fine. Does it have to be like, does every face want to be different colors? Yeah. It does? Yes. Every face does? Yep. Well, colors. every face that touches has to be different than a. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. So this can't be red, this can't be red, and this can't be red now. Yeah. So okay. no two touching spaces can right. be the same color. And I'm going to say with the I'm Shadow gonna Paladin, I'm going to have to be. Yeah, the Looney Lab sheet might be a little it's, easier. It's a little easier. So. Yeah. I'm going to have to, we'll say with the this? shadowed yeah. uh, paladin, like we'll say these two it's are touching. easier than yours. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how all these aren't touching anything. So we have a lot, we have a lot more detail on so ours. They don't. Yeah. All right, we ready? Yeah, I'm ready for the next roll. That's oh. all right. Uh, here, I'll help you. <clears throat> Did, we, yeah. did A make a very large space to color? Yeah. Are you so crazy? Oh, we got another wild and another red. This is not. Yeah. Thank you. are welcome. I'm going to take a picture wow, so I can. You colored that fast. Um, 
That's one of my adult powers is occasionally doing things fast. Uh. All right, so now it's a three or a two, and then wild or red. So, so it's wild or red, and a two or a three. So pick any two or three and put any color you want in it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with the chest plate red. This is my chance. Just in case I don't get a yellow three, I will do a yellow. Let's see. <laughs> That's some good strategy. Yeah. Planning ahead. I think at this point, A is playing more strategic than, than I am. Why is it? I'm What's just that? excited to be coloring. I'm just mumbling. Okay. <laughs> I call it mumbling. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go over for some. To look at the meet the chat. We don't have a lot of chat happening. No, we don't. But we can chat about other things and then. Get yeah, I can. Well. I can stop being boring and chat. I went for a walk and I exercised hard last night, and I'm trying to. Trying to get back into shape, and I, yeah, think, Con, it, I think it just hit me. <laughs> yes. Con season's gonna be rough when we have we're expected to go from like zero to sixty in regards to physical activity. I think I'm just gonna bring like a beekeeper's mask or something, and then when I get social anxiety, I'm just gonna put that on and stand and stand in the hall. Away that from people. Right. Yeah. I'm concerned more about like when when we can go, I'm gonna have to be like walking. The last big convention I did, I did 10 miles in one day. Yeah. Of walking. And at this point, I feel like the furthest I've gone is like 50 feet. So yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to walk in the morning when I wake up and then after work and then in the evening I go get on the elliptical. Ooh, just sure is now. Okay. All right, I'm taking my time to color this in. shooting star without blue because I can't do it all blue. So red, green, purple. There you <laughs> go. Be a very rainbowy shooting star. Uh, there we go. All right, I I think I'm gonna roll. All righty. Hey, Nicholas. Yeah, anybody needs sheets can come over to my house and I'll throw them out the back window at you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so not a lot of options on the dies. So we have a three or three. Uh, yellow or purple? It must be yellow or purple, any of your threes. Remember, you can do your stars, though, if you, if you, if you get concerned. Mm -mm. I can do my what? You can stars? just do the, one of the stars, yeah. Mm -mm. I'm gonna go with. So, when is what, what is our first appearance gonna be, Brooke? That's a great question. I think um, we're still we're still waiting. Twenty twenty two, potentially, possibly, Pax Unplugged. Well, that'd be nice. Maybe yeah, I won't get December. sick this year. Uh, yes, dear. Is is I think so. Yeah. Uh, so at the last PAX Unplugged, I would get to tell you all the regale you all the story of how I went out to dinner with somebody. Actually, it was PAX East. Uh, someone in the video game industry who spent a lot of money on dinner and we all went and had seafood and oysters and I got so sick. So, so sick. Um, and then in like mad men fifties dad style, I just got up and went to the convention the next day and just powered through it. I was so tired. Um, yeah, I woke up at like four in the morning and didn't really sleep again and, I'll spare the audience the details, but it was pretty gross. Not fun. I 
I was super lucky. I get, I'm like allergic to everything. Uh huh. Um, and so when I go to different states, um, there's a good likelihood I'm allergic to the plant matter in that state. I don't know. So being inside convention halls is like actually all right because the air is usually pretty filtered. But when people are like, let's walk to dinner and get out of the hall, I'm like, could we not? Because I'll probably get sick from actually leaving the building. <laughs> so. oh, I'm just, just going to cower in here and eat my Jimmy Jones. <clears throat> Ex- yep. Chipotle delivery. Uh, yeah, is how I live. Um, and like sky bridges that connect to the uh, hotels to the convention center are the secret to my success. Because I was, for a long time, I was getting um, like sinus infections. Just at oh. convention. Yep. All right, Jess, I'm using- That's the hotel for me. I'm using the color pencils that come with the game and then I have color markers where I like highlight. Oh no. All right, it's three wow. again. That is, we're getting there with the the star. So threes again, purple or red? Purple or red and threes, honey. I gotta stop rolling threes. Purple or red on three. It would be an excellent roll in root. It would. But this is color at vast. The amazing part is the two Josh's staying in my room. Neither of them heard me get up, so I felt very guilty. And then they're like, "No, it's fine. You're we didn't know. We, we didn't know you were very sick. Yeah. You're apparently a ninja. At getting, yeah. We Haba, I believe, might be at Gen Con 2021, but we're we'll see how that's gonna go. But Pax unplugged, hopefully, is more yeah of a thing. I could just go this year as a person and just I've play heard that games. A lot. Yeah. I've heard that a lot. I think that I've heard that a lot from, from people who've made the decision that their company's not going to go to Gen Con. But, they're like, like, but I could go as a person again. Like just a normal person. Oh my gosh. Just to see what it feels like. Yeah. I've never actually been to Gen Con as a, as a civilian. As a civilian, I guess. No you okay? <laughs> it made a squeaking sound. Like <laughs> oh, okay. Like I, was, I was trying to like do it fast because this is the biggest part. Look, it's like yeah. This. I'll come. I'll come and get the top part when I'm done. I'm doing my biggest part too, though. Okay. <gasps> yeah. I will take more time on my, my swords then. The normal coloring sheets that come with the bag are, or the bag, the game are like quarter size. Yeah. So they're not, it doesn't take nearly as long. But if you like to color, we have lots of big promo sheets for that reason. This is her cape, or I believe it is her mantle. That's a kind of a cloak that just goes over your shoulders. Stop screeching, darn pencil. Mm. All right. I think I'm not going to worry about the hilt. The story. I say as I immediately go to color the hilt. <laughs> Kyle just puts so much detail in his art. He does. And it's so, I like that I can, I, he has such a very distinct style, but he's also very good at making variance in his style like i can look at all your games and say oh yes they're all very similar they're the same company but there was a time where i was like wait is that the same artist that did all of them um because he can he can throw his range like root to oath to fort to vast nobody Nobody try and hire him. <laughs> can <laughs> anyone hire him? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you can hire anybody, but yeah. Like, how busy are you keeping him? Uh, oh, he's 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 a full time salaried employee. Yeah, I was gonna say, how slammed is he? Um, all right, I think we're ready. 
We are ready. Oh, okay. Well, two, three, yellow or red? So, two or three, and then red or yellow. Mm -mm -mm. I can't color that. Ooh. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do... I'm really... It would be great if I could roll some, like, greens or blues, personally. Maybe some ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a went with the smallest section yeah. this time, I guess. Uh, that was just, that was great. All right. Well, I'm on my second largest, so we'll we'll be here for a while. We'll take some time for a whole life. She Maybe did. we should do this with miniatures, where like <gasps> we roll dice and you have to paint your miniature. Yeah. For it's colorful. I mean, I, I would do that. You just get some like Warhammer figures and like. Put little dots on them. <laughs> and then you have a ram I would do it. You know, I would do that. Does Game Workshop have like a Twitter or a Twitch? Do they, oh. do they want to do a color it cross oh, color, color it. <laughs> there is no peace in the Imperium. Let's have this space marine blasting away at the edge of the panel. All uh, right. I'm going to cheat. Not cheating. I'm just continuing where I know the armor continues down below the sword. There, there, there we go. Yeah, the sword only has the one three pip, and then I kind of was like, the whole sword is the three pip. So That, that works. Yeah. No, no jury is going to convict you. I mean, for this crime, but... <laughs> Oh. All right. I actually powered through that, so. Nice. Um. All right. Green or blue? Okay, well, I got green. green and blue. <laughs> no, it's just green. Oh, green. Uh. Yeah, green, two or three. We're going to run out of two and three spots. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to do this. Wait, do I have to kill? Color the background. You have to cut. No, you don't. So it's green. Whatever you're doing, it's green. Two or three. Oh man, I'm trying to think if there was any. If there was any <laughs> news that I have that would interest. I'm looking for the leader games crew i mean i do have news that might interest maybe i don't know you patrick which is we have a new animal upon animal coming out <gasps> yeah well we'll see it's it's the toddler one so it's a new toddler uh, i have a toddler youngest. yeah yeah i have a, a toddler a might find it a little boring um his favorite hobby right now is opening things and dumping the contents on the floor and then not playing with them. I mean, hopefully that's a phase. For some it's, people, it's not. It's a little frustrating for his father. Yeah. I want to fill these pots. Yeah, we'll have a new Animal Pun Animal Jr. Nice. It's gonna be at Gen Con, or like in that time period, like August, September. Um, then we have a new Animal Planet. Or no, sorry, we have a my very first Rhino Hero Junior too. Oh, well, that's fun. Yeah, that one's just it's a stocking game for. Yeah, I, I, we get super Rhino Hero at the Leader Games parties. Yeah. Yeah. All right, those are all. Okay, those are both cocked pretty bad. So, all right, all right. we have a three or a two. I there are ones on these dice, uh, wild and red. Oh, please. Okay. All right. yep. I love you. Yep. This is crazy. You're We're fine. gonna have to roll a lot of ones in the end. So red and three It's yeah, it's red or wild, so you can do whatever you want on um, two or three. Yeah. I'm pretty sure at this point, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember if you have more Animal Pond Animal than I do. I have Tier 5 Tier f and I have uh, the four base sets. I swear, like, I feel like when I first found out about it, I went and looked on Amazon or something, and there were more core sets back, like, six years ago or something. 
There and, then, were, and then they disappeared, or am I just dreaming that? There weren't corsets. There were um, uh, variants. There were more variants, but they retire the games pretty quickly. So they're oh, only sorry. in print for like a year or two or three. And then the main game has been around for a long time. And there's a new main game version that is different than ours here in the U.S. Uh-huh. Um, it has some different animals, um, some similar animals, but different paint colors. And that's the new German version. And eventually uh, we'll have it here in the U.S., but it's it's going to be a little So, Can I tell them the pig story? Yes. Dear? Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm asking her if I can tell the pig story. So... The first year I was presenting Vast at Gen Con, when it was a part, it was just like a lumpy box with some stuff in it. That I stayed up all night, the night before spray gluing. I have a big story. And I went to the Hava booth, and they gave me a set of four pigs for Animal Upon Animal with QR codes on them. That was an ad for the game. And um, at the end of the show, I was exhausted. Like I had, I had demoed for eleven hours on Saturday, and um, like many hours the day before, and a little bit on Thursday, and um, and then Sunday, like I got up and demoed, and then taught kids how to game design. Literally, I felt like there was pins in my brain, like as I was just so exhausted, and um, and my friend was like, he drove me there, and he's like, let's just go. Let's not stay here tonight. We'll just go home. I'll drive all night and we'll get home. So we drove home and it was like four in the morning. I'm going to be rolled in St. Paul, got in my house. And then I took the pigs out and I hid them around the house. And then uh, I went to bed and then my wife got up with my daughter and she was like just at the age where you, you kind of let her go play for a while by herself. So she took off while, while my wife was working on breakfast or something. And then she came into the kitchen and she was like, I found a pig. <laughs> <laughs> just in complete amazement. And then um, she was like, oh, that's neat. She looked at it for a little bit and was like, oh, it must be an ad. You know, so. And then she left. Her, she, my daughter left. And then she came back like two minutes later. I found another pig. <laughs> and, then, and then that happened two more times throughout the morning and she kept finding pigs hiding around the house while I was asleep. So <laughs> That's a great accidental or maybe uh, on, on purpose surprise. Yeah, it was great. That was so, all right. I decided to color the top part of these. Sh- yeah, that's looking good, T. Yeah, I want you to just do a bunch of stars next time. Apparently, yeah. I should just. Well, we need a star for the one value. We need a one, yeah. Oh my goodness, three, three oh. star and. Do I even yeah, have well. threes left at this point? I have, I have two threes left. I don't know how many you have. I think I'm out of threes. Unless... I think this is my last three. Oof, this is rough. You can do just do a couple of stars. Um, if. Anybody watching this was not aware. Uh, Patrick Leader is a big fan of Animal Upon Animal. Yeah. <laughs> with we, with yeah. A as well. We um so we occasionally will play what I call a perfect game where we don't like we'll just no one will drop a piece and we'll be like That's... one like someone will finish while the other player has one piece left and you're like <laughs> we need to go do something more challenging. <laughs> do you do you have the thing where like you play with each of you have two sets of animals now? Yeah, yeah, we've done that too. And then yeah. then it's harder to get it's harder to do that. I think we've still done it though. Yeah. Um at a, at the height of our irresponsibility. I like doing the draft rule with the animal, animal dinos and unicorns where you mm-hmm. basically open both sets and then each player drafts. An olive on animal. Yeah. Oh, that one's idea. kind of interesting. But yeah. This is some house rule variants. I also have some kangaroos they got somewhere. I think at a show also. So. Yeah, I think we had some promo kangaroos once upon a time. Yeah. All right. I need a one. Yeah, we all need ones. We got a one. Oh my gosh. And it's a one wild. <laughs> she did find a pig deer. 
think All right, it's a one. It's a one any color you want. Mm -hmm. I'll just call it the one stars. That sounds fine. I think I'm going to lose this game. I think T has like four sections left, and I have one, two, three, oh, four, no, I have five, more than that. six, seven, eight. Four, five. We should have the same number of sections left. I don't I know. One, I don't know. Two, I must three, have missed four, a turn five, or something. Six. I have six sections left. Oh, all right. Well, I unless I've been stars. cheating. I'm not part of the competition, am I? Maybe, no. Maybe I am so bad at paying attention, I missed a turn. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm coloring. There's a lot of sections on mine that don't have pips. Yeah. So I'm coloring those in as I go. I'm not. I'm not too concerned about the balance of color. Yeah. So the point was the journey. Yeah. All right. I'm ready for a roll, though. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got another one wild. Oh, wow. one wild. Good. Yay. Because all I have left are twos. I think I'm gonna have to do the cape uh, purple. Look at that. Just That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. If I was a part of the challenge, I would win. Well, I let you take a bunch of turns in a row. But I'm not a part of the competition. A's here just for the coloring. That's right. Do you want another sheet to color? No. Okay. Because oh, 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 we got a printer. I can just... Okay. All right, maybe not infinite noise. <laughs> All right. Have you all come up with any other house rules for Animal Pun Animal? No, I. Uh, the only thing that we do is I. I am a stickler, and I insist that we play everything is in line. Oh so. well, yeah, that's part of the rules. We we clarified. Is it, really? it is. I clarified that rule in the um, the new edition rule books. They actually have an image and it says like you have to. They're all meant to go parallel. You can't. Okay. You can't do a perpendicular thing. Some uh, sometimes somebody doesn't put them. Uh. All right, one, three, yellow or green. No twos again, so you can't finish mm -hmm. yours, Alice. Mm -hmm. You can't finish yours. Because we don't have the right numbers. Can you mm. get me a mask pad if you're just going to use that one? Can what? Can you get me a new mask pad if you're just going to use mine? The one? owl? No, a new mouse pad. You're using mine. Oh, that's right. No, I can go buy one. That's fine. We moved in December, and we're still we're, dirty. we're still unpacking. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's Is fine. It? We'll just start a new one. It's fun. I think my record was, that's what I was asking. there was a while there where we moved every year just because, like, apartment leases and stuff, and then we bought our own house, um, and we definitely, we unpacked the last box, I think, three years into living there. So. Nice. Yeah. Our problem is that furniture is all gone. There's no furniture to buy, and we need places to put stuff still. So we're just yeah. kind of waiting for that. The wood shortage. Right, and just even people just being in factories shortage. Well, yeah, the shipping and yeah. Yeah, yep. everything. All right. One. Wow, now we're getting lots of ones. One, three, purple, and red. Purple and red? Okay. <gasps> oh, no, I can color. Okay. I was like, oh, no, but I can color. We're, we're okay. That was close. I almost was in the same boat. Okay. Um, I'm going to color this knee, lower leg situation. We have a few other hobby games too. We have what's the one with the knights you have to pick up with that ridiculous string contraption? <laughs> oh, I can't remember. 
And, also something. and then we have Dragon Panic, which I've actually haven't set up because of the and Dragon Breath. And we have animal upon animal. Yeah. And we had clomping creatures, but I think that one is left our collection. Yeah, that one's a little bit more interesting. Once you kind of learn that with each other, it's it's not a yeah. anymore. Um, we have at my household, we have a lot of leader games, mostly root. Actually, we just have root uh, and fort, but <laughs> we do have all of root. Um, nice. Yeah. So. We enjoy it. We only play two player because mm. there's just two of us. But we um we really enjoy the the cooperative version of mm -hmm. playing way of playing. So and I don't actually like cooperative games. I am not a cooperative games person, but I am willing and happy to play root, so cooperatively. So I think that I've, says something. I've oh. been working on a cooperative dungeon crawler lately. I don't one. know if I'll publish it, but it's working. Huh? Oh, that's good. Uh, one, one, wild or yellow? I'm going to do purple one. I'm going to do yellow, I think. Cooperative dungeon crawler. Because the world needs more of this. <laughs> is it like card driven, dice driven, or like a mix? Or? Uh, it is kind of a bag puller right now. Um, nice. And so you have your character has skills on their sheet that they can unlock by drawing the right disc, um, and then that loads up the skill, and they can use it later. Uh, the character can use it later. But the more skills you have loaded up, the bag is also how you determine if you succeed at tests. And so the more skills you have lo you have active, the like those are your successes. So like your bag becomes less diverse as you pull stuff out of it. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Um, and then uh, and, and this week I took off in a wild hair to get like to make the plot very dynamic. So I'm working on that. Cool. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Six people in chat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, three, three, purple or blue. And I actually can't color this round because I, I only either. have a one or two space left. I have, I have no threes. I have no threes. I just have twos left. That was a. I've built this house <laughs> for in the name of aesthetics. All so. right, all right. Well, so nobody, if you're watching in chat or playing ahead in the future, you can you if you can color with this roll, you can color. Uh, it's blue or purple, three or three. But I'm gonna re-roll for the rest of us. One one, blue or green. I'm all set of ones. I do have a one. Uh oh. So I can do this piece. I have too many twos. I have my last space is a two. I have three twos left still, so oh, I'm in oh. troubles. Yeah, you definitely must have missed a roll. That's but. all right. All right. That's parenting. <laughs> oh, too wild. Or a two star. Too wild. Uh, yeah. uh, All right. Well, I'm gonna have to zero the other leg green, which is less rainbowy than I wanted, but that's still pretty colorful. Cooperative is a different beast. Yeah. It's been very interesting. Well, and is it one of those things where like people can play out of turn, or is it um, you kind of have to do like sequencing planning? Yeah, it's yeah, it's all that, and then making sure that the game snaps back if it's getting too easy. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I've been working on a game called Havoc also, which is. Um, it's like. A little bit lighter. Um, there's a two if you want to put your last two in. Um, it's a little bit more modular, like kind of brawler. So it's like, it's quite a bit lighter in the past. That'll be competitive. 
up. And it's like direct conflict. Yeah. Did you say brawler? Yeah. Yeah. But you can still play the setting. Because uh, that's the important part to ask. Yes. Yeah, definitely. So, but it's going to be a little bit. So, like fast, you have to learn all those rules, and havoc will be. There's just one kind of set of rules, and then maybe your character can throw or has creatures they can summon. So there's a little bit like change to your rules, but it isn't like a ton of. It's not a ton of overhead. No more. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Fast is really interesting, and it's a lot of fun. But the problem that we had with it was. Once we learned a like character, we didn't want to learn the other ones. Sure. Yeah. I think that's actually a fine way to play, but yeah. Well, so... I did. I should say I didn't want to learn the other ones. My husband wanted to learn the other ones, and I was like, "No, I'm gonna always play this one." <laughs> so... and that's how we learned. That's how we play tested. We, we everyone in the studio adopted one, one faction, and then Got we it. swapped a lot towards the end, but. And, during the they kind of advocated for your role when rules change and stuff like that that actually that's a good way to do that actually yeah because then you know that one inside and out yeah and then and then something changes you can reflect on how that impacts the character yep, all right i have two twos left i'm ready for a roll all right technically i think i won <laughs> but i will face the defeat with grace yeah, I didn't roll another two. Um, these dice are just... Curses. You know, they're not happy to die. Um, Since you won, I'm just going to finish coloring mine however I want. There you go. <sighs> so, Do you want to yeah. fill this in just for fun? Okay. So, yeah. We... Um, thank you for coming and coloring with me. This yeah. Is, I was fun. I, Coloring is very nice, uh, and I find relaxing. <laughs> so, yeah. Apparently, I got so into miniatures that A has walked into the room and talked to me while I'm painting, and I have not, not seen her. So, good thing there wasn't a fire during that time. Yeah, no kidding. Maybe it would have stopped for a fire. I mean, maybe the smell would have alerted. Maybe with if two senses, like the smell and somebody yelling at you. The giant, the giant uh, siren we have in our house. Yeah. Also, maybe would have given it away. Would have done so. it. Yep. Yeah. Well, we if oh, go ahead. We have a burglar alarm, and there is no mistaking that noise for because it's in the same system. And there's no mistaking that noise for anything else. It's <laughs> not a quiet noise. My dad, my dad visited, and uh, oh, I actually have a piece of impossible. Oh no, I don't. Color theory says that's not possible. So my dad visited uh, last week, and he actually is like, "I'll be fine. The dog doesn't need to go outside." And they took the dog outside at three thirty, and I was like. Bye. And then the security company called me and I was like, what is that? That's funny. Yeah. We, uh, my mom got a new security system as well. And I was over, this was years ago. And I was over and she was at work and I was working from her house. And uh -huh. I took a shower and the upstairs bathroom doesn't have like a vent fan. Mm -hmm. And apparently uh, my shower was so hot when I opened the door to leave the bathroom, all of the steam went out and apparently set off the smoke detector on her new alarm system. And I didn't know that she had a new alarm system. <laughs> it was like, it was going off. And then there was a voice talking to me and I was like, I'm sorry, where is, and I'm still in a towel. <laughs> and the fire department showed up and I had to be like, no, it's just, I was taking a shower. <laughs> like, I'm that amazing. You know, and my mom called and was all worried. And I was like, no, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> like, I have a meeting in 10 minutes. Could we? Okay. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. Thanks for hanging out, Nicholas. This is color. It's always a relaxing stream. Um, if people play along, it's just a fun, easy game to play. You can get kind of more strategic on some of the coloring sheets with like how you color and whatnot. Um, 
but I there's no direct competition uh, in this in this game, which some people may not like. Some people might like. I like that there's no direct competition. Um, I just like that this is a great excuse to color. So thank you very much. Um, I want to see. I want to see. Yeah, I want to see your your night. Hmm. I don't oh, know. Nice. I don't know. Right from left when I'm in a mirror situation. Here, I'm gonna. Can I stop my screen share? There we go. Now we can make it bigger. Oh, and you oh, colored the board. I tested. I that tested this great. one. I, I think it's pretty good. So that's pretty awesome. I'll Here's work on it and get it to you. That's awesome. All right. Do you want to see? But Ace? I lost by a lot. Yeah, I want to see Ace. That's Ace. Oh. She won oh, by I a like lot. Oh, I like that pattern. Yeah, that's glorious. They like it. That's good. That's, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> lots of use of yellow, which is good. All yellow. It's all good. Yeah, so. yellow works. We're a big fan of yellow here at Haba. So uh, yeah, something <laughs> about the boxes. So yep. cool. All right. Well, thank you. Um, if people are interested in getting Vast, uh, where can they find Vast? Go ahead, Brooke. Leadergames.com or your friendly local game store. Yeah. We like go. both options. There yes. you go. Oh, just typing it. Um, yeah, uh, the um, it's hard to get Crystal Caverns now, but you can get uh, Mysterious Manor still, and it's a pretty good deal right now. It's been it's like we bundled the the two big sets together, and it's one one price, and it's uh, it's a good deal. And then. Uh, Root, we have root soon, right? Root now. For root now, America yeah. Stock, so yeah, that's we're back exciting. In, we're back in stock, and then um, Oath is just around the corner this summer, right? Like late this summer, yeah. Um, I can't wait. wait. So much hype. So much hype. So it's been it's been pretty. It'll be a pretty big summer. I'm excited uh, to play Oath. Every time I saw it at shows, you all were like willing to have me sit down and play a demo, and I was always working. So it was like, I have five minute lunch break. Can we do an Oath game in five minutes? <laughs> so I'm excited that that's coming. I haven't played it in a while either. So maybe you and I can learn together again. Um, I was kind of like doing business stuff while it was being developed, so I'm less familiar with it than the other games. Um, you know, of course, I did work on this root expansion so i've been playing a lot of root lately but both not so much <laughs> yeah cool all right well all right. i oh thank you everybody for watching yeah thanks for hanging out for a chill coloring stream so all right. yeah take there it easy <laughs>